Sanford Health is working to create a new health system with Fairview Health Services out of the Twin Cities. So far, the two organizations have signed a non-binding letter of intent and say this will be beneficial to patients and employees at both health systems. Sanford also says it would give more people access to quality care and offer more opportunities for employees. Now, this isn't the first time Sanford has made plans to merge with another organization. The process usually takes several months, and it doesn't always end with a deal. Kelloland's Carter Schmidt takes a look back at Sanford's last successful merger. At the end of June in 2018, two of South Dakota's largest employers signed an agreement to merge, Sanford Health and the Good Samaritan Society. Together, they would create a $6 billion company with 50,000 employees. We're going to be stronger together on very practical purposes, economic purposes, financial reasons. The plan was to grow across the country with a new model to serve people of all ages. We will need all of those folks and then more uh, as we grow this uh, mission opportunity and this vision that we collectively share in. Six months after agreeing to merge, it was finalized at the beginning of 2019. We thought we would both be stronger together uh, by combining what each organization does respectfully. No one else has put a long-term care organization of that magnitude together with a a uh, hospital-based system of this magnitude in the country before. Serving thousands, if not millions, of people nationwide. It's going to provoke us to think bigger, to think more opportunistically. Knowing that what we do is going to be extremely important in the future. Carter Schmidt, Kelland News. In addition to the Good Samaritan Society, Sanford has merged with two North Dakota health systems. We'll take a look back at Sanford's growth coming up new at 6.